Don't you let the zone. We are your all access pass to everything RIT, bringing you the story behind the highlights each week. Now, just last month, we spent a day in the life of men's hockey goalie Jared DeMichael to see what really happens behind the scenes on game day. It's DeMichael Unplugged. Before, during, and after a start in a 5 3 win over Atlantic hockey rival American International. How long does it normally take you to get out? Um, probably between 15 and 20 minutes. It's definitely not the most fun part of hockey. It takes forever to get dressed. It's not like basketball where you can just like throw on sneakers and go out there and ball it up. It's going good. We got to uh, more of a turnout here than we usually do. We're starting to come together really well as a team, so a lot of guys love being on the ice. It's fun coming to the rink every day and stuff like that. So it's good to see a lot of guys out here working on their game. I've been playing organized hockey since I was about eight. Um, I didn't start playing goalie till I was about 10 or 11. Um, I started skating when I don't know when I was maybe like two or three. Ready to roll back to my place? I think any guy on our team would tell you that playing pro hockey is definitely an aspiration of many of the guys. Um, me being no different, like I definitely like to play pro hockey if I can. Um, if that doesn't work out, definitely working for ESPN would be a dream. Still have our stockings up from Christmas. We don't really put our uh, closet doors on, we just let them hang. And this is my room. Oh. As you can tell, I'm a pretty big Ryan Miller fan, Superman fan, and Hartford Whalers fan. Hartford Whalers right there. This is my uh, list of things to do. For people who don't believe that hockey players do homework, I have to do all this stuff uh, by Monday and Tuesday, so I got a lot of stuff to do. And you're a business major? I have business management, and I'm uh, double minoring in marketing and uh, communications advertising. Our fans are crazy. All of my buddies who play on other Atlantic hockey teams or other NCAA teams, um, even some friends of mine on Clarkson, they were like, wow, like you guys have a great place to play. Playing hockey makes me focus more on my studies. I think if I didn't have hockey, I'd be, be a little bit lazier, where when I know I have hockey, I got to get down to the nitty gritty and get my stuff done. Yeah, we have a group project. We have to uh, have, um, look at the HR content within the company, and we picked Nike. Um, we were originally going to do Wegmans, but like three or four other groups did Wegmans. It's PR rep. Going to the um, gym to ride the bike for a little bit. I'll go in there, listen to music, get away from the guys for a little bit. I just try to keep like a clear mind, and uh, I don't like I don't want to stress out too much. I got the whole game to worry about it. So right now, I just try to keep a clear mind and keep to myself. I mainly listen to techno before the games. Uh, I'll listen to anything, but on game day, for some reason, when I'm uh, about to start to play, I really love techno. In season, most of the cardio we do is just on the ice doing sprints and uh, suicides and line drills and stuff like that. I'll do basically the same thing uh, every time. I mean, I'm not really superstitious about it. I just have like a routine that I'll follow. Um, I don't have to be there like at a certain time or have to do this and then I have to do this. It's just, I do these things if I have time. I think it's more of a comfort thing than anything else. We have the uh, meeting now in our players lounge with great minds, Wayne Wilson and Brian Hills going over a little pregame stuff. If we can knock him out here in the first period, it might make it easy for the weekend, okay? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Best equipment manager and best bus driver in the league right here. Uh, my favorite hockey movie would probably have to be Slapshot. It's a classic flick. Um, it's kind of funny, my parents, their first date was to go see Slapshot. It's kind of ironic that now their son plays hockey. So that's probably got to be my... Uh, favorite hockey movie of all time. It's probably the first movie I saw with swears too, so that's probably another reason why I like it. Funniest teammate would probably have to be um, Justin Hofstetter is pretty funny. Louis Menard's really funny too. He's a real goofy kid. Me and him have a lot of fun together. Um, all the guys are pretty funny in their own way. Guys, went to school two for us last year, boys. This year they're getting nuts with boys. All business this weekend. Four points. Dominate on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dominate. Woo! What's going through your head minutes before the game? I've never done. Um, just thinking about uh, the first few minutes. Just thinking about winning. You starting? Yes. 
Challenge them all over in our zone. We'll try and find out what they're doing here. Good discipline, hard work, be smart, protect our house. Protect our house. Another game at home, we have to win. Any jitters? I would jitters, ready to go. Excited to get out there. Just want to get out there and play. He's our assistant uh, coach. He works mainly with the goalies. He's our Jedi master. How much do all the pads weigh in total? Um, I measured it on road trips when I put the bag on my shoulder. It's between uh, like 35 and 40 pounds altogether. One minute, one minute, one minute! Tigers on three. One, two, three, Tigers! Oh, yeah, here, boys. Here we go, D's. Oh, yeah, they want us out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your R.I.G. Tigers. The number three, Green Sheridan Team Michael. Your I have probably about 10 more gray hairs on my head, but it's a win, and we'll take it. Um, our power play really stepped up there in the last five minutes, had some really uh, gritty goals, picking up the rebounds. Um, <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. It's your birthday, Andrew? Is it all the players do this? Uh, no. Only like a, a handful of us will do this. It takes out all the bad blood, pushes it out of your legs. So new blood is pumping faster into your muscles to repair them. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to go talk to Coach right now. Coach, uh, coach just told me that Lou's playing tomorrow. Uh, this is our third weekend splitting. Uh, normally I play the Friday nights, he's been playing the Saturday nights, and we've got a good streak going right now, so uh, you can't blame him for playing Lou. Lou's a great goalie. It's good to get a break here and there, and splitting us is a good idea too, because uh, it keeps both our goalies fresh, both of us involved with the team and stuff like that. So it's a good move on the coach's part for sure. Gonna go grab something to eat now, and then uh, shut her down and head to sleep. Doesn't matter uh, how we get it done as long as we get it done. So we got the win tonight, and that's all that matters. Well, that does it for yet another edition of RIT Sports Zone. For more information on the athletes or teams you saw here today, visit ritathletics.com. And for more information on our show, log on to ritsportszone.com. Once again, thanks for joining us here in the zone.